It is important to conduct a simple pre-treatment examination on all patients. When treating a patient for plantar fasciitis, you should obtain any pertinent medical history. Examine the foot. When necessary, use diagnostic imaging tools to rule out other causes. Do not treat areas that have metal implants. Pay attention to areas covered with tattoos. These will require masking during the procedure. To begin, power the device on and ensure proper settings. The correct setting for treating plantar fasciitis is labeled LLLT. Next, arm the laser by putting it into ready mode. The laser is armed but not on when the light is solid. The aiming beam will also appear when the device is in ready mode. Next, open the safety cover on the foot pedal. Make sure the handpiece and indicator light are pointed at the area to be treated. Hold to create a beam spot size with a 2 cm diameter. Depress the foot pedal to turn the laser on. Between intervals, apply slight pressure or massage to the treated area. Wear supportive shoes and possibly an orthotic device. Stretch regularly. Treatments are recommended every one to two weeks. Usually, four to six treatments are required. You should obtain any pertinent medical history. Examine the foot by pressing between the toes to feel for a mass or tender spot. When necessary, use diagnostic imaging tools to rule out other causes. Do not treat areas that have metal implants. Pay attention to areas covered with tattoos. These will require masking during the procedure. Between intervals, apply slight pressure or massage to the treated area. Rest and footwear change may assist with expediting the healing process. Treatments are recommended every one to two weeks. Usually, four to six treatments are required. 